to complete the photo booth picture frame, you will need some materials. Um, you're going to need a large board. This is a white foam board that I got from my local craft store. Uh, you can use cardboard if you want. Um, anything that's pretty large that you can cut out. That way you can make a frame. So what I'm going to do, well, before you get started also, think about what kind of design you're going to make. What kind of party theme are you going with? I'm making this for a friend's daughter's first birthday. And it is like gold and pink themed and hearts. So that's what I'm going to do, but I am going to have a two inch border going around the top two si the top and the two sides. And then the bottom, I actually want to be a bit thicker or a bit wider because I actually want to write face first birthday. And then I want to put some designs on it. So I'm going to make the bottom section about six inches wide. So I have room to do that. And then I have some ribbon to decorate the sides and, and little doodads. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to measure out the, the two inches around the border and then the bottom border here. And that's what we cut out in the middle. Now you will need a ruler to do that. You can use just a regular ruler. This one's about 18 inches. You can use your 12 inch ruler. Um, I also have handy this one's a 48 inch ruler. Um, I have this handy here. So I don't know if many people have those on hand, but if you do, that might come in handy for you. So I'm gonna first start measuring out my two inches. I'm gonna use my larger ruler here so I can make sure they're straight. Actually, I'm gonna start from the bottom and mark my six inches that way and you'll need a pencil too, so you can erase your marks. Make sure your workspace is large enough to accommodate your rulers. Actually, this one might be able to work just fine. So now I have a large rectangle drawn out in the middle of the board and this is where we're going to cut this out that way there's a hole in the middle and I have um, a knife here a utility knife I'm going to cut it out with that and I, in order to not ruin the table you probably don't want to do it on a over a material that you'll ruin. I suggest doing it over a mat and my mat's not large enough but I'm going to just do it in pieces that way that way I don't ruin the table beneath. Actually, I'm going to get my X-Acto knife and see if that will work. Okay, so I'm going to use my X-Acto knife instead. I think that um, this blade on this one's just not that sharp, so I'm going to actually use my sharper blade, and that is going much smoother.
Okay, so now the middle part is cut out. Just kind of clean up these edges a bit. You can get you a thin ribbon to cover the inside of this up, like the rough edges. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, right here, you can get a ribbon to glue it all around the outside of it. Um, but now I'm going to decorate. Uh, just choose which side you want to be the front. And I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm just going to go with this as the front. Okay, so now I'm going to decorate. Um, I have some ribbon, I have some double sticky tape, and I have some little cutouts that I've done, and I have some glue. Um, you can decorate it however you want to do it. Um, if you're using like satin ribbon, um, I do suggest, let me grab my scissors here. I do suggest um, doing the end with a little lighter so they don't fray like that. And not a lot, but it's just to melt the ends so they don't fray. booth photo frame and it turned out so cute I love it and I think that they're gonna love it too you can decorate these however you want to decorate them you can use stickers you can use the cardstock and glue it on like I did I used my silhouette cutter to cut out my letters and my shapes and then you can just put ribbon your options are endless and it looks really cute and the guests are gonna have a lot of fun playing with this and getting pictures like this video give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other videos that I put up um, of course I love birthday parties so um, you know I'll be doing some fondant tutorials or might be doing some other decorations I don't know you can also leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see so be sure to subscribe bye